Hi, I'm Ben Canning, and this micro lecture is on normal force. As always, you need three or more bullet points worth of notes, a one to two sentence summary, and to do your follow-up questions on Google Forms. All right, so if we consider this book right here, it's sitting on a table, um, and we ask ourselves, what forces are acting on this book? Well, we know that there's the force due to gravity pulling it down. That's because it's here on Earth, and we know gravity pulls it down, and we call that force weight. But there's another force acting on it, because otherwise it would be falling and it would be accelerating towards the ground or basically it would be in free fall. Um, but it's not in free fall, it's just sitting there. So we know that the table is also pushing up on it. Um, so usually when things are sitting still, there are two forces acting on them. One is the force due to gravity and the other is the force from whatever's holding it up or a support force or the force keeping it from falling in that case. Force from a table, force from the ground, force from somebody's hand, things along those lines. Now these forces usually cancel out and in fact they almost always do and or they always cancel out unless the supporting table or ground or whatever it is is breaking, um, sinking, or rising in which case the force due to gravity or weight might be bigger, smaller, um, bigger or smaller than the force from the table or the ground. So for example if the table is breaking the table is not able to fully support the weight. If the table is sinking then obviously the uh, the book is accelerating downwards a little bit so the weight is bigger than its normal force and if the table is somehow rising so imagine like an elevator or something like that then the force from the table is actually bigger than weight and that's why it would be accelerating upwards. All right, so here's another example. A man is standing on the ground. Why don't you take a moment, pause this video, see if you can do this on your own. So go ahead and pause now. All right, welcome back. Uh, hopefully you paused and you tried it on your own. So in this case, we have the uh, same two forces. We have the force of gravity and whatever is holding them up or keeping them from falling. In this case, it's the ground. Here's another example. Go ahead and pause the video, see if you can guess what two forces are on it and draw an appropriate diagram. Go ahead and pause. All right, welcome back. So the force is on the apple in somebody's hand. If the apple weighs 1.5 newtons, then we know the force due to gravity is on it or weight. And we also know that the hand is holding it up. So it's just kind of sitting there. Uh, here we've included the values. Notice that the um, force due to gravity and the force from the hand are the same value. Notice that we're also representing the vectors for them with the same size vector. All right, let's try one more example. Um, so go ahead and pause, see if you can figure this one out on your own now that it has some values. All right, welcome back. So we can see a student sitting in a desk. The student weighs 634 newtons. So we know there's going to be the force due to gravity pulling that student down. But we also know that the desk is supporting them. They're not falling, they're not going anywhere. So we know that there also must be a force of 634 newtons pushing up on the person to cancel out the weight. Otherwise, they'd fall. Uh, one last important thing. So we've been talking about this force from a desk or a ground as a support force, and we've labeled it as um, F with the subscript desk to represent that it's the force from the desk. Uh, we know that we can represent the force of gravity as weight or W as shorthand for it or a variable for it. We can also actually abbreviate the force from surfaces or desks as N. And the reason why we use N is because it is a normal force is what it's called. Um, now it's not normal in the sense of like normal versus weird. It's normal because in mathematics, normal means 90 degrees to something. And this force is always 90 degrees to the surface that's supporting them. So if the surface is at an angle, then the normal force would be at an angle. That's it for this one. Three or more bullet points worth of notes. So one to two sentence summary, and please do your follow-up questions on Google Forms.